But first, it's time for the Daily Dish. We are making white chocolate yogurt custard with balsamic cherries today. Sounds a little fancy. So here's what you need for this recipe. Vanilla Greek yogurt, some egg yolks, white chocolate, cherries, sugar, balsamic vinegar, and mint leaves. Sounds like a good one, Paul. I'm so happy cherry season is here. And this recipe is one of your favorites too, isn't it? Oh, it totally is. It totally is. You know why I like this is because I love per perfect peak of the season fruit. And in this case, we're not doing a lot to these cherries. We're really celebrating them and pairing them with a yogurt and white chocolate, chocolate custard that sounds complicated, but it's actually super, super simple. So what it starts with is it starts with a simple base of, of vanilla Greek yogurt and egg yolks. And I've just brought them up to temperature on a very medium low heat and I'm just slowly cooking the eggs. Why do you cook at a lower heat there, Paul? Well, you really don't want to rush eggs. They're very temperature sensitive and so whenever you're making a custard of any kind, it's important to very gently cook them. You don't want to end up with a curdled mess or scrambled eggs and that's what we're doing here. But because there's so much yogurt, this is very forgiving. So really, all you're doing is cooking for maybe 10 minutes the mixture will get thin and then it will thicken up a little bit and that's when you know it's time to add your white chocolate and i also add a little sprinkle of salt whenever i'm doing something sweet so i've already added most of my white chocolate about 150 grams and i'm just adding that in stirring it and it's going to very much resemble the texture of like a melted ice cream or like an ice cream base so as soon as that chocolate is melted and it's nice and smooth it's time to pour it into whatever vessel you have. So you can see, you can use whatever you want. You could use little bowls, you could use mason jars, you could use ramekins, you could use old teacups, whatever works for you in a fun presentation. And now I'm just going to pour that in. You see, it looks pretty thin, but it's gonna set up really nice and thick and creamy. So I'm just gonna let those cool a little bit and then cover with a little bit of plastic wrap and set in the fridge for at least four hours. They won't form a skin. So this is gonna protect them from anything that's falling in the fridge or from any odors, things like onions, things you really don't want penetrating your dessert. So of course, after you know they've set overnight, you end up with these really nice, luscious, creamy custards. And you can see they're very thick, very velvety, and they're easier to make than a cheesecake. And they're very much like a cheesecake. And so of course, any dessert like this needs a nice topping. So we're gonna use perfect peak of the season cherries to make a fresh topping and we're not even cooking them. So what I have here are some beautiful big cherries and I'm just gonna show you how I like to cut them. So I like to cut them almost like a peach, give it a twist and then you can either throw them in whole, you can use the side of a serrated steak knife just to pull that seed out or you can quarter them if they're big. And now we're just gonna macerate them. So a little bit of balsamic vinegar just for complexity, a little bit of acidity, and a tablespoon of sugar, and some torn mint leaves. And that's all there is to it. This is easier to make than a cherry cheesecake topping, and it's fresher, and it's very seasonal. Now, give it a stir, and it's gonna look weird at first. It's gonna look chunky and not that appealing, but after about half an hour, you see, the cherries become glossy, and they let out this beautiful syrup that becomes the topping for our cheesecakes. So right over top, just a nice dollop. You're making sure you're getting some of those cherries and also some of that syrup. And you know, there's not a lot of ingredients here, but it is just a really beautiful seasonal dessert and you can make it ahead. See, I love the idea of making it ahead. Anything that makes uh, entertaining a little bit more stress-free for the host is something I can definitely get behind. It looks incredible. It looks, I'm sure it tastes like cheesecake, maybe slightly healthier because you use mm -hmm. Greek yogurt, but what an amazing recipe, Paul. Thank you so much for that. You can, of course, find that recipe on our website. That is cityline.com. TV. In fact, all of our recipes from all of our chefs can be found on our website at any time.